Hey guys, welcome back to Out of Work Outdoors. My name is Kong, and this is my chest mount. You will be seeing mainly me on this video. And I was contemplating not releasing this footage just because, one, we well, there are some kind of a secret rigging uh, on the uh, umbrella rig going on. And uh, two, there's no audio. For the, for the entire video, there's no audio. It, it, I haven't edited it yet, but it might be 15, 20 minutes of just no audio, but just straight up straight up fish catches okay so nothing fancy here we're just straight up catching fish and we're just showing you guys the, the rig and the top waters and just about anything else i was I was biting that day so this is to us this is pretty much the perfect lake to be throwing an umbrella rig it's clear water it's summertime this is post frontal too we had a major storm uh, pass by this morning and when we got out there the clouds basically just opened up and here I am super gluing a, uh, an arm because uh, it was slipping a little bit. But if you have one of our rigs and the arms slip on you a little bit, put a little dab of super glue on it and you'll be ready to go again. Uh, the rigs we're using right here, this is the uh, clear umbrella rig built by us. You know, So if you want to support the channel, go over to Tornado Innovations and yeah, TornadoInnovation.com. And pick one up, and you will be supporting the channel. All the proceeds basically go to building the websites, paying for gas, and everything else that has to do with fishing, basically. But as you can see, there's two rigs. The first rig with the with the chartreuse bait on the back, that's actually a, a jackhammer. Uh, it's a chatterbait jackhammer. It's a half ounce with no trailer on it. The idea behind that is just to give the rig a lot of vibration. And it does its job. And the one I currently have, this one's just weighted real, real heavy. Uh, we got half ounce head in the middle and quarter ounce all around. And I do this because I'm fishing deep. This is 25 feet deep, and we want a heavier rig. And we're throwing, we're, we're on, we're on the Ford facing sonar. We're on the Mega Live. We're just watching fish and we're casting to them. And you know, you're gonna make a cast to 100 fish, and maybe one's gonna, one's gonna bite. So here we go. Uh, we there's a bunch of fish right here. So I've tried everything. I've thrown a, a slap swing down there. I've thrown a drop shot. I've thrown a small swim bait. I've thrown a crank bait halfway up the water column. They didn't want it, so I swapped uh, swapped umbrella rigs. And there's walleye. Uh, I decided to come out and play. Walleye saw guy decided to come and play. And I'm watching him on the on the on the screen too. And I see him come up to the bait, and, and he takes it. And like I said, this time, the uh, the difference between the two rigs, if anyone wants to know, is during the day, it feels like if a more subtle or more average vibration bait works a lot better than towards your prime time hours or your one hours before sunset, as you'll see here in a bit. The later on, the visibility, the light visibility is down. You want a lot more vibration, so the fish can track it. They can, can find the find the rigs. Yeah, and uh, here's Hybrid Killer. He's used a slab spoon on the end of the umbrella rig. He catches them like that too. It's kind of weird. It was kind of a weird day, but umbrella rigs are not the only thing that they're biting. So we threw the umbrella for a while, and they got used to it. So you switch back to the swim bait, which is basically the one of the swim baits that's on the umbrella rig. And you throw it solo and you just drag it on the bottom and they'll bite that too. But so far we were we couldn't get the uh, big ones to go. Like we couldn't we see them on the graph, but we couldn't get the big ones to bite. Only the little ones would bite today. Yeah, I even uh, started throwing the uh Rapala jigging wrap. And they bit it too. I mean they bit it just as good. But they were all real small. I get a lot of miss hits, a lot of white perch, and a lot of like, small walleyes up in there. I keep saying walleyes, but they're probably saugers. Someone's gonna probably roast me in the comments. But yeah, this little jigging wrap thing is it's it's like miracle <laughs> when you're uh, when you're fishing straight below the trolling motor. They bite it pretty well, but I get a I don't know. I feel like the hooks aren't very sharp, so I do get a lot of uh, snags. And I don't like the way that feels. I'm on stock hooks right now, so I'm gonna have to upgrade this to something else. But I feel like I feel like it needs to improve. I feel like it needs to improve. But really good lure, also repelling. Okay, so my take on just fishing schools offshore is you want to rotate through baits. 
the faster you rotate through them, I think the better off you are versus just waiting too long. So Hybrid Killer and I are both throwing different baits at the same time at the school. Um, we tried everything, and then we've gone back to the umbrella rig. Got a lot of pecs. I mean, got probably like 20 to 30 pecs on this thing, and we're just not getting hookups. So we finally hook up on one just to make sure these are white perch, you know. Um, so umbrella rig goes back in and does damage. All right, guys, if you're watching this far already, you can pretty much consider yourself a serious fisherman because if you're watching the silent video just to pick up on what we do, then you're you're an advanced angler. So for the most part, we're throwing the same rig, but you have to pay attention to what happened here. Uh, when the fish comes up, you'll notice that it was hooked from the outside. It wasn't hooked from the inside. And why was it not hooked from the inside? And like I said, I've been pecked maybe 20 or 30 times. So these fish, if I had to guess, were not interested in my baits. They were interested in the little flash that the blade and the other little blades were creating. So they were hitting my blades and not my baits. Okay, so with that being said, you should probably downsize your baits. Throw something real small. You should probably catch a bunch. Okay, we also get this question quite a bit about the E-Rigs because it doesn't look like anything out there on the market. Uh, a lot of people are asking us how strong is it, does the arms break, and things like that. So, the simple question is no. The arms can slip from time to time, but a little bit of super glue helps that problem. Do the arms break? No, they do not. How strong are the arms? They're at least 250 pounds. So, you're not going to break it. And this is just a little clip showing hybrid killer horsing in basically a 20 pound catfish that he caught on the umbrella rig okay so hopefully that uh cures all the doubts and all the uh suspicious activities because that's a that's a pretty good size catfish and we didn't really fight it the way you're supposed to fight it uh this was pretty much i told him you know you just put the put the lean on it and see if it breaks and so far, we've never broken one. Uh, we've lost uh, swivels on it because maybe they'll come and they'll get tangled up on the uh, trolling motors or, or they'll get tangled up in trees and things like that. But in terms of breaking the actual arms themselves, they've, they've never broken the arms. We've had a couple of them slip. And if they do, send it back to us. So we'll pretty much uh, crimp you a new one. Yeah, so that's the uh, fourth fish who uh, accidentally uh, snagged on this trip. And that was still the original umbrella rig that we've had for uh, three, four months now. But yeah, pretty big, uh, pretty big uh, carp, buffalo, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this, this was the fish that was featured on our Instagram. So if you are not following our Instagram, uh, go ahead and uh, <laughs> follow us over there too because we got a, we got a lot of stupid, funny videos over there. <laughs> it's a giant. This thing weighed like 25 pounds. <laughs> this is good time. This is good times. Even though the audio is not working, just good times. <laughs> All right. If you guys have watched this far, if you've watched 10 minutes into my video, man, I love you guys. I just want to say that. And uh, see a little boat right there? I hate that guy. And I want to buy him a beer at the same time. Because. He's trolling basically around this point that we're fishing on and he is stirring up the water which is stirring up the shad which is stirring up the hybrids and right there. I don't know if you can't see it but it is blowing up right there. Uh, there's probably 20-30 hybrids just messing with the shad right there and hybrids on already. Uh, he just happens to you know see it. He casts out there. He gets one. I'm just like this is I can't even put my rod down. I need to throw some swim bait or something. But I got the chatterbait in my hand. So, chatterbait gets fired out there, and we're on hybrids right now. Because like, this is the this is the Z-Man ch jackhammer chatterbait. Uh, this is a, I don't even know what the color it is, but it's a green pumpkin. And as I turn around, there's two hybrids on the floorboard, and hybrid killer's on again. And I'm about to get smashed again. Okay, but then I, see, I get bit right there, right? Like, right at the boat, too. 
So something's not right. I started noticing something's not right. Something's just not right. They should, if they're this act, if the, if the fish is this aggressive, they should not be missing your baits. So there you go. This is my fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh cast. And they're not far. They're probably like 10 feet away from the boat. And they're just nipping at it. And in my mind, in my gut feelings, like you need to switch baits already. But my eyes are like, no, just keep throwing. Just keep chucking the wine. Just keep chucking the wine. So basically, we go, I don't know, 10, 15 casts, no hookups. Bunch of nips, but no hookups. And I finally make the decision to, like, you know, you got to put it down. You know, they want something a little bit smaller. They want something a little bit smaller, bro. These guys want something that's a little bit smaller. Everybody's going through this phase, right? So there you go. I take a break. I'm just like, look, I got to put this fish in the live well first. So I throw the fish in the live well. And we've got some fish. We've got some white perch from the day. Uh, white perch is evasive in our state. So if you catch them, you got to keep them. There's no limit. Okay, so as I'm putting all my fish away and turn on the live well and the research, I turn around. Oh, that's the third one. Okay, as I'm turning around trying to put fish in the live well, uh, you know, it's one of them days, you know, it's like it doesn't, nothing's going right, nothing's going right. And then all of a sudden, hybrid's got two. He's got a white bass. No, he's got a, he's got a hybrid and he's got a largemouth on at the same time on the umbrella rig. And we're like, dude, there's like, bro, there's like five of them swimming around. Just keep them in the water for a second. See if you get like another one. And he held it in the water too long and the largemouth comes off. And we're not going to keep the largemouth anyways, but it was just, uh, it would have been pretty fun if uh, we could catch like multiple multiples on it. So here we go. So my mind's made up. I'm like, yeah, let's see what the little brother is. So I pick up the umbrella rig. That's the heavy umbrella rig, if you guys were uh, paying attention. And, you know, it's like, it's a little darker now. I don't know. Something's wrong. Like, it doesn't feel right. Like, it's it's the right lore, but at the same time, I need it to be, like, the baits are, the baits are kind of see-through and the sun's starting to go down. So you kind of want a bait that's more uh, solid color. So I'm thinking, like, if you had a white bait, a solid white bait, it would do a lot better. So I'm thinking, like, man, I don't want to re-rig. So I'm thinking, wait, hold on. The other rig, the other rig should work pretty good. So after about, you know, two or three casts, I'm like, you know what? What? I'm an idiot. Put this rod down. Put this thing down, bro. You need to go and uh, you need to go throw the other one. Like, what are you doing? Wasting time. So there we go. We pick up this one and this one, this one for the rest of the day. Uh, basically it was in my hands. It was in my hands for about 20 minutes. And Hybrid's like, you know, I haven't caught a topwater fish in a long time. So I'm going to go throw a topwater. So he's throwing a topwater. He's throwing a, uh, I think it's a River to Sea Rover or a Vixen or whatever it was called. But uh, he's throwing that. He's doing fairly well. He's doing fairly well on it. But, man, the umbrella rig, dude. The umbrella rig is king in these situations. So there's a couple of them over there, uh, but these fish are moving real fast, moving real, real fast. So one second they're there, the next second they're about, they're right at the boat, right? And the next second they're below the boat, the next second they're behind the boat. That's how fast these fish are moving. Like I, I can't even keep up with the, the fish on the Mega Live. I, I can't even keep up with them. So I decided, you know, forget about the Mega Live. We're just going to play it by ear, play it by eyes. That's how, that's how, you know, we were brought up and that's how... We've been catching them for 20 years, right? So right now, uh, you can scan with the Mega Live, but it goes it only goes about 50 foot. And your casts are much farther than 50 feet. Yeah, you can set the settings up to 100, but it feels like it's not it's not good enough at 100. It's really deadly within 35, but beyond that, not as good. Plus, the fish are moving around so fast, like, and they're all over the place, you know? So when there's so many fish all over the place, it's really hard to make a decision. So you have to just stick to your guns, you know, uh, and just do what you do, you know. So here we go. We got hybrid killer. He's on He's on top water. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he got smashed pretty good on top water. And I threw out there. It was a good school. So he got he got a fish, and I threw right there, right out there in that general direction, and I caught one too. And we're just, and, you know, we're not reeling them super fast just because, I, like I said before, I was trying to catch two. Or three, and that's the beauty of umbrella rings. You can do that if you're really, real slow. If the fish has got a, a friend, you know, more than likely the fish is gonna, 
bite as well. Try to grab that bait away from his buddy's mouth, you know. But in this case, you have four other baits out there. But this fish is dragging. So when the other fish comes by, he'll just grab grab one of the baits. That's free. Okay. So here we go. We are still catching them. There's still a school out there. Hybrid's already unhooked his fish, and he's already out there already. He's like, he's really good at this stuff too. The whole topwater thing. So here we go. He swings again. I think he's got one. No, he missed. I think he missed. Uh, so we're catching them all different ways, you know. Uh, so don't don't be uh, one of those guys that's like like uh, gonna say no. You can only catch them one way. So you know, no, you can catch them. You can catch them four or five different ways. Okay. Um, we're just talking about the umbrella really because it's it's ours and we use it a lot ever since we developed it. We haven't released a lot of footage of it. Just because we don't have a patent on it. So now we do have a patent pending process on this. So we are more likely to share with everybody. So from now on out, you guys are going to see a lot, a lot of this umbrella rig thing going. Because a lot of people will tell you, you know, the umbrella rig is not that great once the uh, summers hit. Spring, summer, and fall hits. But see, that's where I think our, our umbrella rig doesn't fall into that category. Uh, our umbrella rig is clear. It's designed to be fished all year round. And I feel like a lot of the times during spring and summer, uh, the fish will chase an umbrella rig. They won't commit because when they get close, they can see the metal wires. Well, they can't see this. This is all clear. Um, so it kind of alleviates that problem. And and the whole, well, they'll bite a swim bait, but they won't bite an A-rig. Well, if that fish is going to bite a swim bait, it'll bite this A-rig. Okay, so you hear that a lot from a lot of the guys too. So here we go, another hookup on the uh, umbrella rig, a rig, and uh, it's a, uh, like I said, it's one of our favorite tools at the moment. You know, I, I, you can see from this video, I got two rigged up, hybrids got two rigged up, along with other rods, and you can see all the rods on deck. So this one's actually pulling pretty good. I forgot how well these hybrids pull sometimes, but uh, they do. They they are very fun to to to, to catch. You know, they're. And that's one of the main reasons why we like this type of fish because one, it's a it's a great fighter. Two, it's a great tasting fish. And three, there's not a lot of pressure on it, you know. Uh, especially in Oklahoma, I feel like Oklahoma stripers, Oklahoma hybrids, Oklahoma white bass. There's not a lot of pressure on, them, so they're easier to catch. In other states, I don't know. In our state, bass, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, extremely hard to catch sometimes because. There's so many tournaments coming around for them, and it's it's almost impossible to catch them some days. But there we go. We uh, we boated one. It's in the live well, and we're getting ready to make another gas. So this is just basically I'm just gonna let the footage roll. This is super raw. There's not a lot of uh, editing here. Kind of want to let you guys see what like a normal like blitz feels like. So as you, as you can see, there's a bunch of activity right there already. I'm just casting up there uh, just to see if anything happens. And this is a, a different rod reel setup already, but like I said, I've been I've been throwing this chatterbait thing, right? So there's a new topic, new theory about it. If you still got the four swim baits, but there's a there's a chatterbait on the back. And the chatterbait is designed to give off a ton of vibrations. The the bait itself will give off more vibrations than if you had four big blades on it okay so if you need the vibrations like right now we need the vibrations to attract the hybrids the water was clear but due to the wind blowing on on this point there was a lot of mud so now the water stained and when the water stained vibration plays a lot and also the color if you guys see that white chartreuse jackhammer you shouldn't be throwing that in clear water, but in stained water, it does pretty good. Even though the hybrids don't attack it, I think the hybrids are attracted to it a lot of times. And when they get right up to it, they might have second thoughts about why is this chartreuse thing so bright. But then once they get there, there's four other baits that look pretty natural. So they'll more than likely hit those other baits, the other arms. So here we go. We got one. Um... It's good, you know, so we're doing pretty good. Hi I'm beating hybrid pretty bad right now, just to let you guys know. We're both throwing at the same schools, too. 
So when I see a school, I, I basically was shouting it out there over here. When he sees a school, he'll shout out there over here. And we're both making the same amount of casts to, uh, to these schools. And if I remember correctly, he caught two fish before me. But I ended up catching my limit before him. So it kind of gives you some idea of how, how deadly the rig can be. And how fast you can load the boat. Because this I think this lake you're only allowed five five hybrids. And I catch five pretty quick and I start I start releasing here in a bit. I mean some people will tell you they'll bite anything. Uh sometimes. Not today. Today you have to have exactly what they want. And what they wanted was small swim baits. These swim baits that I have on this, this is the Kitek 3.3. This is the Tennessee Shad color. And they are, this rig is rigged on, I think, 3 16th heads with a half ounce jackhammer on it. So this rig is, for me, the, my, my idea behind it is, this is not a deep rig. This is a rig that I want to throw and keep it say three feet below the water surface and have a lot of commotion on it, a lot of uh, a lot of vibrations so there we go first cast out there well first cast to that school I think we uh, we wanted to catch one but I don't know if we did well, we probably got hit but we probably didn't and then there's like fish just blitzing busting shad at the boat okay so when people say you see a blitz you're gonna catch them it's not always true okay not always true uh, today was one of them days like you guys knew we were throwing jackhammers topwaters and like that but you could easily throw them like a cordell game blade you could have easily been throwing a, a rebel t10 a head spook and i feel like you could have you could have done pretty good but you, you you were probably gonna miss quite a bit miss out on quite a bit of fish because you didn't have the exact the exact thing that they wanted so right here the move the boat's moving fast i just made a cast but i see that uh they're they're blitzing they're blitzing right there see that cyber killer's fish right there yeah they're out there and i cast behind the boat and i'm like no i gotta reel this thing fast see right there there's there's shad right there right in front of my fingers right there so you can see them right there Man, those are all like three inch shad so anyways, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to hit two schools at the same time. I cast to the far school and I'm rolling it through the far school and the uh, the school right in front of the boat. So hybrids on, I'm on. And I guess the far school passed me up while the the school right at the boat said, Look, I wanna play. So we got one on, hybrids got one on, he's still in that big top water. He's trying to catch a striper, that's what he was telling me. But man, we couldn't find any stripers to come and play, man. I don't know what is up with that, but here we go. We boat flip a uh, a good size hybrid. This is probably right around 19 inches, and it's not happy. It is not happy. I believe that was my limit fish too. I believe that was my limit fish. I know people are gonna give me some hate about throwing fish in the live hole like that, but oh well. Hate is gonna hate. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right at the boat, like I said. Some I don't know what was wrong with today. Like everything that was supposed to happen didn't happen. And stuff that wasn't supposed to happen started happening. But I'm not complaining, man. You just got to enjoy the moments. And you just got to live for these moments as well. Because these moments are weird. You know, you, there's like... It's just, it's just weird. I mean, we had a we had a major, major rainstorm in the morning. We were supposed to go out early, like 3 o'clock in the morning. Canceled that. We didn't leave the house till 9. And then this is 7 o'clock. And as you can see in the background, there's a major thunderstorm back there too. So, we're fishing in between storms, so that's probably why the bite's so weird right now. So, I just released one, hybrid's on, once again, he's on the top water. And, 
the action just continues. Like the boat is moving around quite a bit, uh, and we're just we're just having fun, man. That's that's the craziest part. And we're just having real fun, and I'm surprised my swim baits are hanging on. Actually, one of my swim baits, the uh, the tail's missing already. I just keep chucking it. <laughs> and I'm about to catch another one, too. It's kind of weird. I catch a fish on the swim bait that does not have a tail anymore, which means the swim bait's not even swimming. It's just coming straight through the water like a Ned rig, and I still I still get bit on it, which is real, real weird. But anyways, right now, the sun's starting to go down, and I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm very feeling like I need vibration, okay? So I'm throwing this chatterbait thing on the back, and it's just giving me good vibrations. It attracts the fish, it directs the fish, and maybe, maybe, eh, it's a week maybe, uh, it tells them to commit. Maybe. But here we go. As you can see, that was like back-to-back -back casts, you know. Of course, one was a hybrid, and the other one's a, this one's a, a white bass, but it still counts, you know. It's still fun. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Just kind of reviewing my uh, my footage. So that's three casts back to back. Okay, that's nuts. I should probably retie this. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, just another shameless plug. But if you guys want to buy this umbrella rig, right? It will support the channel. When you buy one, you are supporting the channel. The channel doesn't make that much money. Uh, we only make enough to pay for gas for like two trips a month. Uh, we're not as popular as the other channels that get a ton and tons and tons of views. So we don't get the ad revenue that you might think we do. So for the most part, you know, we're some people say we're not as entertaining as the other channels too, because we show real fishing. Real fishing is not really entertaining. The hardcore anglers really like it. You know, the hardcore kayak guys, the hardcore tournament anglers, the hardcore striper guys. The hardcore hybrid guys, the hardcore white bass guys, they love it. They love our, they love our channel. But you know we don't make that much money. So if you want a premium grade umbrella rig that is proven by us and by other tournament anglers and everybody else all around, go ahead, go to Tornado Innovations, Tornado Innovation Noise dot com, pick one up or two up, and help the channel, man. The more uh, we sell, the more uh, the more we can get to go fishing, and the more we can bring you guys good products. And if you are a subscriber, go there. Use a subscriber coupon. The coupon is YouTube twenty twenty two. You get five dollars off your order, and that that coupon's always gonna be available, always because we really like our subscribers. And if you're a subscriber, you get a discount. And if you buy over seventy five dollars, you get free shipping. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this this is getting ridiculous now. You know, it's it's just an onslaught, okay, with the umbrella ring. And like I said, it's not like hybrid is not catching them, but I am catching them pretty good. He's catching them pretty good too. But it feels like I'm catching them two and a half, almost three to one right now. Granted, he's taking videos, but when when we were uh, firing out there at the same time. Same schools, I was catching them better than he was. So don't let anybody tell you the umbrella rig is only good during the winter time, because this is exactly what the fish are chasing. They're chasing schools of bait, so you need to present a lure that looks like a fish, or you're gonna present a lure that looks like the school that they're chasing. So there you go. Hybrid killer catches one. He's like, I'm done with that. I'm I'm done taking Instagram videos. So. I want to go catch a, a fish again. So he, that was weird. He he was just throwing it out there. There was no schools busting shad. He was throwing it out there and he gets smoked. And I was just like, what? Okay, I guess I'll throw it out there too. But I don't think I catch him. But so as you can see, it's starting to get dark. So the blitz stops pretty much right when it gets dark. And one last look at it. Because you can see, that was a fish too. Something bit that. And... Yeah, the baits are all destroyed now. So something did bite it, did not hook up. Probably because the hook hooked itself. And uh, that's it, man. That's the last uh, look at the rig before we call it a night. And uh, 
thanks for watching, guys. I uh, really appreciate everybody watching. And uh, for the guys who have already purchased one of these rigs, you guys, thanks a bunch, man. Thanks a bunch. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And I need to get rid of this mic issue because this was, this was an epic video that is not so epic anymore because there's no audio. So darn you, GoPro. Uh, we'll try to fix you and we'll try to get better footage next time. All right, guys. See you guys in the next video. And uh, hop over to our Instagram and TikTok if you haven't. Out of work, outdoors. And for the rigs, the rigs are being built by our sister company, TornadoInnovations.com. Go there for all of our latest products that you see in the videos. And uh, give us good feedback on uh, just our videos, on what you guys like about it, what you don't like about it. Do you guys like the idea of a clear umbrella rig? You know, that's a cool concept. And um, all right.